Good afternoon, this is your 28storms.com tropical weather update for Tuesday, September 27th. Starting with the Atlantic, the remnants of tropical storm Ophelia look to be on the verge of being upgraded once again, and we still have tropical storm Philippe located west of the Cape Verde Islands. On the regional visible, you can see that the Gulf and Caribbean are quiet, but here are the remnants of Ophelia, and we can begin to make out the makings of another surface circulation trying to form along the northern end of the convection and further off toward the east we see that tropical storm Philippe is struggling due to a lot of westerly wind shear the surface circulation is now highly exposed to the west of the convection we can see why by turning on the latest water vapor we still have a very strong mid to upper level trough located just to the north of 20 degrees north latitude so it's very unlikely that Philippe will be making it to hurricane status anytime soon but we do have a mid to upper level ridge beginning to return over the central Atlantic so we could very well see a turn to the west underneath this ridge before we see yet another turn toward the north within five to six days. The track forecast for Ophelia once it becomes upgraded looks tr fairly straightforward. It looks like it's going to bend more toward the northeast with time due to an approaching trough that's beginning to exit the east coast of the United States and it should make that turn just to the east of Bermuda so we don't think that the impacts are going to be overly significant across the island. The eastern Pacific is very quiet with the one exception still being Hurricane Hillary. It's a category 3 but it looks like it will be downgraded within the next 24 hours. We see that it's steadily moving into a more hostile environment. Not only does it have more dry air out ahead of this system but also a lot cooler water temperatures and the forecast track should take it more toward the west of the Baja Peninsula. The official forecast from the National Hurricane Center indicates full dissipation by 5 a.m. on Sunday and this is in general agreement with all of the model guidance and those cooler water temperatures are going to make this rather inevitable and the impacts along the Baja Peninsula should remain minimal. The latest 12Z dynamical model guidance would indicate that we could be entering a rather calm period at least briefly once these storms begin to dissipate. This is Hurricane Hillary dissipating over cooler water temperatures and I'll pause this by day 6. It looks like Tropical Storm Philippe could make it as far west as 55 degrees west longitude but the troughing over the western Atlantic remains fairly significant so we should not see this storm pass anywhere close to Bermuda. And the CMC is developing a weak tropical disturbance to the south of Mexico within the next three to six days. But this run looks fairly suspect, and none of the other models are indicating a system developing down there. The 12Z run of the GFS is quite similar. It shows Hurricane Hillary dissipating over cooler water temps. And by day seven, we see that Tropical Storm Ophelia has left the picture. We still have Tropical Storm Philippe swirling about over the central Atlantic, but once again we still see a lot of troughiness over the western portion of the Atlantic Basin. So Philippe is no threat to land, and as we can see the rest of the Atlantic Basin and even the eastern Pacific are forecast to be relatively calm for the next six to seven days. So that wraps up what is occurring in the tropics on this Tuesday afternoon. Please check again tomorrow for another video update.